plotting and reverse engineering of research results. This means in this chapter, I'm going to teach you how to plot the research results in a graph, in a figure. But what happens if you haven't done the experiment? Would you be able to get the graphs? The answer is yes. You can take a photo of your graph from a presentation, in a conference, or any seminar. You can also get the graph from by a, a scanning. The trick is to turn this image graph into the XY coordinates. By now, you should have already installed GNU Optive and WebPlot Digitizer. If you don't, then uh, I suggest you go back to the second slide of this course. And in this chapter, we are going to use WebPlot Digitizer to reverse engineer an image graph. We are going to use GNU Optif to plot the extracted data using Webplot Digitizer. So here is the list of instruction. I'm going to illustrate to you by example. Suppose you have a graph, you have an image, and this image may be a photo taken from a seminar or conference. And you find it very interesting. You want to include a part of the results into your presentations. But this is just an image. How would you be able to turn it into your own graphical data? That's where the web plot digitizer is instrumental. Now I'm going to run web plot digitizers. It takes some time. It's loading. Now the first thing you need to do is to load image. Click on the load image button here. And then choose the graph. The graph is the image data, which I have just displayed. Now, this is a two-dimensional data plot, two-dimensional XY plot. So the first option is correct, 2D XY plot. The first thing you are going to do is to align axis. In this step, you are going to define X axis and Y axis of your graph. X axis is the horizontal axis, and Y axis is the vertical axis. To define the X axis, you need to generate two data points, X1 and X2. And to do the same thing for Y axis, you also need to define the Y1 and Y2 along the vertical axis. So let's proceed. X1, I will choose the origin as X1. And 
10 comma 0 as x2 now I'm going to define the axis for I'm going to define the y axis by choosing two coordinates along the y axis so I'm going to choose the origin as the 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 y1 and then I will choose the topmost point at the left as y2 now you have already defined the the x axis and y axis you are going to insert the coordinate for x1 and x2 so x1 here is 1 and 10 we stand for 10 gigahertz now you are going to enter the coordinates of the y axis y1 and y2 y1 here is minus 36 and y2 here is minus 20 again just take ok now what is the next step the next step is to add points along this curve let's do it one And this point is a little bit off. It doesn't matter. Nothing is perfect. almost done now done so now these are the x y coordinates which you have defined by clicking on the graph you can either download it as the x y coordinate so in these lessons I will say chapter something, right? Chapter 2, B. Chapter 2, yeah. I can also plot this using the built-in plotting instrument. So here we go. This is the new part we have generated. You can either save it, but normally you don't want this graph. Now, 
What is the next step? The next step is to The next step is to turn this CSV file into a spreadsheet. So these are the data points that we have generated from the graph. Column A represents the X coordinates. Column B represents the Y coordinates of the data points. Unfortunately, this is just a text file, which is not acceptable by the um, MATLAB or GNU Optics. So what I'm going to do is to save this file as a Excel file, spreadsheet file. So here we go. We can keep the same name, but we have to use different extension. Dot, uh, Excel, yeah. Uh, special yeah this one this one would work 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 now you have already got the got the right data set for reporting so how can we report this file the easiest thing you can do is to use the uh, symbol mala commands. First thing you need to do is to open GNU Optif. Then you need a few commands. First of all, you define symbols as variable v, v1, and t. Uh, is that right? I should say v, v, t. Yeah, that's more or less correct now. And then we use the XLS red command in YouTube, in um, MATLAB, or GNU artists. And then chapter two. Double check. Yes, correct. And then we translate it into two three vectors, where V stands for the x coordinates, T stands for the y coordinates. Then in this step, we turn this coordinates into an array for x and y, and then we plot it. Let's save it first, and then run. Yeah, it's running now. It's working. This is what you are going to get. Again, this graph doesn't have to come from your own effort. It could be a photo taken from a seminar. It can be a scanned image from a magazine, journal paper, or 
most likely, right? It can be uh, let's go sort. Now, I'm going to show you the command here. In this case, I'm only, only putting the extracted image. What if you have already got uh, another set of data? The data that you have just got, the data that you have just plotted, is a simulation data and you are going to insert another plot there so what should we do we can just use the same command with different variable here we have vt vt for this plot how about defining another plot vt1 and like this and I'm going to use the same command to read the Excel file from another plot and this one is going to be graph2 graph2.xl Graph two, and this one is the experimental data. And in this case, I will use V one, T one, and V T one to define another set of vector for graph two. Obviously, you also need to change the variable here. V one and V1 V1 here stands for the first column first column of the plot of the, 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 of the uh, Excel file and V1 bracket colon comma 2 stand for the second column of the Excel file. Now I'm going to plot all this in the same graph. We have already plot the graph for trap 2. Right now we have got another plot here. Let's say this is T1 and this is Y1. Ah. So all you need to do is add T1 and Y1. In this case, if I plot it, I will have two, two graphs. Okay, the blue one is the simulated data, simulated results, trap tools. And the red one here represents the, the curve, the experimental result which we have measured. So indeed, this is the, the fact. Uh, I'm not uh, inventing something. This is exactly what we have got from the experiment and simulations. Now, um, with this, right, this should be enough for you to generate the, the graph for the paper. So that's all about this chapter.